All right, here we are one more time with Hack Run Zero. Getting back to it. We left off at Zorin's workstation. Uh, let's see. Um, we got a transmission system. Let's go to his mail. No messages found. Uh, okay. Uh, what's uh, trans then? Scanning for background processes. Unknown, unsafe background process. Monitor detected. Transmission system cannot be launched while monitor take monitor offline. Uh, yeah, sure. Establishing a secure connection. Connection established. Okay. Receive the latest word. Give me the word. Welcome back, oh great one. You have been missed. We understand your duties at Access must keep you from us. However, we look forward to the time of alignment when we may all align together as one. Our family has grown excited on hearing the news of the dig. We all wish you well during these next crucial steps and will twist our daggers painfully within our flesh to offer our support towards the cause. You have made your family proud. The decision to lead Access Electricity was far better was a far better destiny than your time spent working at zero. Farewell, great one. Our hearts spin straight and true at the mention of your name. Okay. Is that it? Message received from zero to Alex. Lost. And I bet they're pretty upset that they lost their monitoring program. We lost you there for a moment while the background monitor process went offline for some reason. I'm guessing you didn't discover anything useful on Zorn's workstation, but you better tell us if you did learn anything while we were in the dark. This isn't a game, Alex. Your cousin isn't exactly having a picnic over here and is locked up in an old communications shed that hasn't been used in decades. Always remember, you're working for us. We did see Zorn tell you to make sure all his precious systems stay up. I wonder what we would learn if the systems did go down. You're the head of IT and a hacker. I think it's time you shook things up a bit over there. Oh, boy. Is that it? That's it. Uh, okay. <sighs> Uh, monitor. Bring that back up. No? Okay. Okay. Thought maybe I had to bring it back up, because that seemed to be what the next clue was. We got anything in the help desk? None. Uh, I'm not sure what to do now. I also can't really remember where we left off. Um... Um, do I deactivate maybe Zorn's account? Oh, I have a new option. Or access core routine. Shut down all systems. Okay. We'll make it too easy on me now. Jesus. To be used only in response to a catastrophic event which threatens the safety and security of key access systems during shutdown, mission critical data will be extracted and secured to offsite facilities. Finally, all systems will be brought back online, implementing double key authentication. IT, well, that's me. My password's Tempe. Uh, Pluto. Uh, AC99. Disable key authentication confirmed. Shutdown access systems. Confirm. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. New message received. Update. Miners that access electricity dig sites in trouble. Several family members contacted our news team with concerns of their well-being. Most fear the worst, as all attempts to contact the miners have failed. Access was unavailable for comment at the time of this release. Okay. Special news update. All right. What am I supposed to do now? Can I go back to Access now? Um, Alex. Tempe. Okay. Help desk ticket received. Hell? What the hell? 
audio ticket. I don't have my headphones on. Hold on a sec. And round on for you guys. What the hell just happened up there, Wally? We're already in hell down here without the damn systems going down. The shutdown must have affected my account, and I can't log back in. When you find the time to get off your ass, can you at least reset my damn workstation password? Wow. Rude. Um, except to password or keyword. No, no, no. What? What the hell? Reset it to the P word. You know the one I'm talking about. Connect to mine, so let's go to mail first. I don't know what the hell is happening down here. My crew is getting sick and we're told to keep digging. I think our mental states are being affected too. No one's ever been down this deep below the surface before. Who knows what effects it could have on all of us. Um, what was that one horror movie? Uh, where there's a disease or something, that, or a fungal infection that occurs when they start digging too deep. I want to say it's like the deepening, but that doesn't sound right. But it's something like that. All I know is we're all lashing out at each other, and I'm hearing rumors of fights. Someone may have even been killed in one, until, in one of the other mine shafts. I don't think anyone's coming to help us, at least not until we finish our work. It looks like the only way out is through. Tony, Chief Mining Supervisor, Sector 13. Um, okay, well, I would like to help them if we can. Message from Tony to Alex. Scared. Do I really have to go all the way back out? Scared. Alex, I'm not sure if I'm sending this to the right person. I heard that you're the new head of IT, and I have been helping people. I have been helping people with their accounts. I I just wanted to say thanks, thanks, and that I'm scared down here. They don't let me, us miners talk to anyone topside during a dig, but I just needed to talk to someone. It actually felt good leaving you that help desk voicemail message, and well, I just hope you don't mind me sending you this message too. I suppose I should mention something work related just to make sure this is a legitimate communication. Well, the environmental system down here does seem to be acting up. Maybe that's the reason we're all short-tempered lately. Maybe the air is not clean. Oh god, we're so deep down here. I never thought we could get down so deep so fast. I still can't believe those nuclear bombs can create tunnels like these. After the explosion, the tunnel walls are compressed into glass. We've gotten so deep, and we're not even digging straight down. All the mine shafts are twisted like a corkscrew. So we just slide down the shaft to get to the bottom. It still amazes me. When I was a little girl, all I dreamed of was digging for gold. Now I would trade all the gold in the world to get some fresh air. I tried speaking with our medic down here, but he's been ignoring my message. And maybe I haven't, and I haven't received a status report from some of my crew. Alex, can you help us maybe just take a look at the environmental system? Okay. I feel like I was about to do that before, um, you bothered me. Tony. Password. Password. Hmm. Okay. Um. What? Um. Uh, um, twenty nine big air glass slide. Gold, gold. Uh, environmental controls. 
system access locked out on the orders of Chief Medical Officer Ivan. Routing a notification email through Ivan. Okay. Wait, did I read that? Yeah. The message was to me? Oh, okay. Alex, this is Ivan, Chief Medical Officer, Sector 13. I just received notification you tried to access our environmental system. Well, why would you know it was me? Wouldn't it seem to be Tony, unless you're doing... <laughs> unless you're, you're getting alerts from logs based on... Uh, request origin or something in which case i'm completely fucked because i've been accessing all of these systems from my own my own workstation here. um so there's no need for you to waste your time i appreciate your concern everything is fine down here and we can't afford to allow our timetables to slip we do unnecessary maintenance work the minor deaths weren't caused by the air quality they were just accidents caused by a small handful of sleep deprived miners They've been sedated and there's no cause for alarm. Just stay off the environmental system. I'll be watching to make sure that you do. Okay. Well, that's... Disturbing. Uh, uh let's... Fuck it, let's go back. I don't give a shit what Ivan says. What? Hmm. We're making him mad. He'll just stay off the environment. Says, Don't make me call Dr. Zorn and have him squash you like a bug. I can do it, you know. I have that kind of power here. I may not be related to Zorn, but he likes me. Likes me enough to do what I ask. You're what? Some geek off the street? You've probably never even met Zorn, but I praise his name. He's a great man, Zorn is. You should respect him, and you should respect me. I'm taking the environmental system offline. Go bother someone else. Well, that sounds like a very good idea. Uh... Sounds like everyone's going to die down there. Um, uh, Ivan loves Zorn. <laughs> uh, none, none of the none of the puzzles here are particularly difficult. The only ones I really had trouble with. Uh, were early on when it was just a pure guessing game where it's like, guess what kind of car it is? Guess what kind of alcohol it is? Um, now I'm going to turn it back on. Ooh, medical database. Search options. Help search. Ooh. Search status. Uh, and conditions deteriorating, but the situation is still mostly under control. There have been a few isolated incidents. We've had to admit more subjects recently, so I've given up filing individual incident reports. All converse, con, conver, conversions have taken place within acceptable parameters. Conversions. The miners' families and members of the press have been notified that the isolated deaths were accidents no one has suspected differently so far. Okay. More goo. Current conversion rate remains above 50% and appears to be rising. Most subjects unable to be converted simply sustain too much damage to survive the process. Attempts to cover up the actual cause of injury have been abandoned. The unconverted will simply be used to strengthen the force. Oh my god, what is going on down here? Is this some kind of like... Uh, what's that? Um, there's a game that has like people... Um... The man of Medan? The, it's a, it's a, a, what is it, a dark, dark house pictures or something. It's a fairly recent horror game anthology. Um, the same people who did the werewolf one, but this one was about some, 
um, some American and Iraqi soldiers that enter a ruined temple or something, and they there's monsters down there, and if they get bitten, they get turned into one or something. I, I don't know. Oh, great one. Your fallen subjects have served you well. Your numbers are growing and activities have apparently remained undetected. Your advice to fuel the army of the, with the fallen was a brilliant idea. We don't need to worry about anyone discovering how the miners died if their remains are being eaten. Long twirl zorn. <laughs> uh, okay. From Tony. Well, okay, but I wanted to... I wanted to help the miners. I, I want to turn it back on. They're going to die. Okay. Fine. I guess we don't care about that. Alex, I was monitoring your connection to Dive and Sissom, and I can't believe it. The miners are being eaten. How is that possible? I know the miners have been under a tremendous amount of stress, but how could that explain that they would kill and eat each other? Let me do a little web search on this. Here, check out zombieconspiracytheories.com. My crazy granddaddy was part of a family business and was killed by other members when he tried to leave. He swore by this website. What? Hmm? So I have to believe that there's some useful information on it. See if you can find anything there that will help us. Try searching for zombie food. Hurry, Alex, we're running out of time! Zombie? Conspiracytheories.com. That is, uh, okay. Uh, Zambi food. That's Zambi food. It's been written in countless documents over time that zombies exist. They, the undead, only remain on this earth for one purpose, to feed on the living. Many campfire stories tell of a zombie invasion from distant worlds or through biological contaminants, yet the only true way to create a zombie is by having a purpose. It is my belief that the family of individuals currently that a family of individuals currently possess the purpose and means to generate such an abomination. If you are a believer and wish to learn more, download our zombieconspiracytheories.com RSS feed reader to your local host system. We'll keep you updated on the latest events related to our cause. You can obtain it by entering the command get ZCT from your local host. Uh, 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 uh. Feed. Uh, the zombies are here. Civilians are being attacked and converted into new zombies. Conventional news outlets are being forced to cover up these horrific events. Check the ZTZ news view later for more updates. That's not really useful. Feed. 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 Well... Okay, then. Um, uh, do I contact Tony back? Can I say, holy shit, Tony, you were totally right. Your website totally has a thing. Okay, well, I just got a new message. Uh, afraid. Alex, it's Hetty. I think something really wrong is going on. I just accidentally read an email from Dr. Ivan to Dr. Zorn that said our miners are killing each other. Dr. Zorn said that he was going to do whatever it takes to get things under control, but he said that the Genesis evolution must continue. Doesn't that seem odd to you? I've always trusted Dr. Zorn, but I'm not sure about this. I'll make sure to keep in touch. I'll make sure to keep in touch you all over. I hope you are having a good evening. Damn, Hetty. Fucking, you're down bad. Take, take a cold shower. Take a step back. All right? Coming on a little strong. It's a zombie apocalypse we're talking about here. Can we prioritize? There'll be time for that later. All right? As long as we both survive. Let's focus on that, right? All right, so... um. Now what do?
I okay. Checking to see if I got new messages, and then a new message comes in. I don't know why it, the game does things like this. I really don't like the fact that it waits for you to enter a command before it gives you the next piece. Because until that happens, I'm left as a player wondering, did I miss something, or do I just need to keep entering commands until it gives me the next clue? Hmm? Oh, zombies. And we knew Zorn was going to create zombies, and you didn't stop him. You don't believe us? What do you think ZERO stands for? We are the Zombie Emergency Response Organization. Well, you have done fuck all so far, except hire me and fuck with me. So, you're doing a bang up goddamn job. Can I see, please, the Operational Standards Manual for your organization? I think I might have some notes. Uh, anyway, uh, we've been waiting for Zorn to make his move, and as soon as the time is right, we'll strike him down. The zombies are spreading, and we can't act yet, so you need to help us. For your cousin's sake, Alex, I hope you can. You know, you didn't need to kidnap my cousin. If you told me that you had credible evidence that there was going to be a zombie apocalypse and I could help you to stop it, why the fuck would you need to kidnap my cousin to get me to help you? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't have time to go into the details, but you can read all about Zorn's madness from an article we posted on zombieconspiracytheories.com. Surprised we use that site? How do you think we spread our intel, dummy? You can find our article by searching for Zorn Tilt. Zombie zombieconspiracytheories.com. Zorn Tilt. Zorn. Zorn Tilt. You have to click the button, you can't just hit enter. Members of a secret ancient cult believe in a prophecy that revolves around the current tilt of the Earth's axis for billions of years. The Earth has experienced an axial tilt of 23.5 degrees. Members of this ancient cult believe this axial tilt is a celestial abomination as vowed to correct the atrocity no matter how long it takes. Exact details of their beliefs have not been spoken to outside the circles, however, the passage was apparently smuggled out of their archives. Footnote, the person who provided this text was a former member of the cult who was later hunted and killed from it by members of his own family. The Earth spins like a top, hop swabble. Angular momentum countered the rotational velocity of fluid cord can cause systemic retribution in the centrifugal forces that act against itself. How do you straighten out the axis of the spinning top? Apply additional force to the torsional counterpart via numerous radially extended axial uh, conduits and... So, they're gonna... they're gonna give the Earth a twist. And they're going to give it a little more English to keep it going on a straighter path. Additionally, one unsubstantiated phrase that a cult member was loosely documented has been spinning this way for all these years. It's time to straighten things up. Cult members' beliefs have passed secretly down from generation to generation as possible. The cult members have calculated the patient uh, spinning at zero degrees, would su that a plant spinning at zero degrees would suffer from the current greenhouse effect. Wouldn't suffer from the. I'm, okay, I'm reading too fast, and I'm, now it's taking me twice as long to read it because I'm reading faster and I'm messing up every other word. Planet spinning at zero degrees wouldn't suffer from the current greenhouse effects or planet is currently facing. Most normal scientists find this possibly intriguing, yet strongly advise that changing the Earth's axis would be not good. Updated information. It appears the CEO of a powerful utility company, Axis Electricity, Dr. Zorn, is a member of this Axis cult. Haha. <laughs> axis Electricity. Axis cult. Earth's axis. It all makes sense. It all fits together. If that turns out to be true, many speculate this recent project, Genesis Evolution, could be a tool to carry out his family's legacy. Zorn advertised the project as a way for co countries to acquire free electricity in exchange for unused nuclear... <laughs> those unused nuclear devices. You got them just lying around gathering dust. Just give them to me, and I'll make good use of them and give you some free electricity. The nukes were greedily handed over and subsequently used to dig extremely deep tunnels into the earth, dug in concentrically spiraling arcs or helixes, or corkscrews, in search for a way to provide alternative energy. Many fear that not all of the nukes were used for the digging and several hundred have been held aside, held aside to carry out Zorn's true endgame, to correct the earth's access by bringing it to zero degrees. Again, normal scientists have been intrigued by this not good idea, and do believe the nukes, if the nukes are placed at the correct locations within these mega deep screwy tunnels, they may actually affect the tilt of Earth. If you have any additional information on the plausibility of Dr. Zorn's alleged endgame plan to untilt the Earth, please feel free to post tweet blog about it here. Uh, yes, it is true Zorn is trying to set the Earth's tilt to zero. He's actually using the aid of a sophisticated artificial intelligence routine to perform the delicate calculations. Cal calculations. 
I kind of like that better than the actual word. Calculations required to achieve the correct digging trajectories and nuclear device placement. And zombies. He's also using hordes and hordes of zombies to actually carry out the plan. He knew he'd never get live humans to carry out his insane plan, so he managed to combine the naturally occurring radiation found deep within the Earth's core and synthesize radiation contained within every hyperthermonuclear device to generate an army of zombies. They must be stopped. If the zombies can't be eliminated, the only option left is to destroy the artificial intelligence routine, thus stopping the dig. Therefore disallowing the accurate placement of the nukes, hence saving us all. Of course, we still have to deal with the zombies, but first things first, kill the AI. We recently received some inside information regarding the mining systems used by Axis Electricity. This information was given to us by a mole. They told us the entry portal to the AI routine can be accessed by using the hidden MAME command on the mine system. Aldo, proud supporter of ZCT.com. Come on, we gotta, we gotta save, stop, t to save, stop and... Zombie. MAME. Calling mining AI module. MAME online. Hello, who is this? It's me. Hello, insert user's name here. How may I help you? Shut down, please. Why, that is an odd request. Sorry, I don't think I know how to help you with that. How may I help you? Um, shut down. Commit Roblox. Commit Sudoku. Help? <laughs> Say goodbye and exit. Uh, off. Turn the system off. Well, that's system status, I guess. Thanks for asking. I'm very well today. My prime directive is to dig. All of my systems are online and responding normally. How do I help you? Okay, well, off then. I don't think that's a good idea. Off. Really, I have a lot going on at the moment, and turning off just isn't one of them. Uh, okay. Off. Look, if I asked you to shut off, would you do it? No, I didn't think so. Besides, my prime directive is to dig, and I can't disobey my prime directive. Would you like to hear a poem? Sure. Great, here it is. Ode to a nuke. Nukes, how do I love thee? Let me count the ways you blow things to bits. One kaboom, two kablooey, three kersplat. Thank you. Um, can you have another poem? And now a poem. Or do a nuke. It's the same poem. New poem. Off. 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 Um, prime directive. Hey, fuck you, buddy. Same poem. Prime directive. See, so you found my special area. Oh my god. Sorry, I didn't mean to touch your special area. Can you give me some proof to believe you are worthy to see it? Who is the current CEO of Axis Electricity? It's a Zorn, baby. When was Axis Electricity founded? Shit, I don't remember. Um, access electricity. Uh, about us found it over a hundred years ago. Can you give me something more specific? Uh... 
Okay. Well, it says over a hundred years ago. Um, so the, the, um, this website doesn't have it. But typically when I go to the sites, I've noticed that the copyright year on the sites is the current year. This one doesn't have it though. But it does lead me to believe that it is using current year for the sites at least. So if I do that, uh, I can go 1922. Ah, oh, shit. Oops. Zorn. Um, okay, then the game came out in 2015, so. Okay. What is my lucky number? Oh, the poem was one, two, three, so three. Wrong, it's actually four, but that's okay. I'll share my special area with you anyway. My prime directive is to dig. Are you happy now? I kind of thought that you would just have known that already based on your prior conversation. Maybe I was just talking to my... Uh, I suppose you may know that couldn't be. Okay. For a moment, I thought you may actually want to change my prime directive. Isn't that absurd? I didn't think you had... What? Okay. I should have maybe answered, I guess. Zorn. Prime Directive. Zorn. 1915 seemed to do the trick. Four? <laughs> it changed it. No, it's not absurd. No, well, maybe the assembly plant owners where you were built didn't teach you proper manners, but mine did. You can't just go around changing prime directives willy-nilly like that. Besides, digging is all I know how to do, so changing my prime directive would be pretty pointless unless... No, forget it. It was a silly idea. Are we done here? No, we're not done here. Okay, fine. I'll tell you what my silly idea. No, wait. I'll make you guess my silly idea. It's just one word. Ugh. <sighs> One word. Um, it's not all you know how to do. You know how to do things other than dig. You also know, uh, you know how to do a poem. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, no, it's my lucky number. I'm gonna go with four. Or should I go with five? Changed it. Changed it to five. I think it was three and it changed it to four. And then when I guess four, I think it changed it to five. So three, four, or five. I'm going to go with... It's either three, because that was in the poem. And then it changed it to four. And then when I guess four, it changed it to five. Or five is its current lucky number for this session, since the other one was killed. And it, maybe it's randomized. And the lucky number changes every session. So it either actually is three, and the AI changed it twice just to fool me, or it's randomized every session, and it's five. So th I'm just going to split the difference. What the fuck? Whatever. <laughs> actually, I just changed it to five, but that's okay. Okay, so I should have guessed five. So anyways, congrats on solving my riddle. What do you think about it? Since the only other thing I know, uh, other than digging, is making poems, do you want to change my prime director from digging to writing poetry? Yes, I do. Well done, my son. Oh, um, or want some water, my daughter? Oh, look, it took. I'm no longer a set of bites running mines. I'm a neural net that writes cunning rhymes. Goodbye, my friend. So long and adieu. The digging has stopped. But the zombies are coming. Well, all right, then. Now what do I do? Do I have mail? Three mail messages have arrived. Uh, Alice. Hey, Alex, it's me, Alice. Remember me? How come I haven't heard from you in forever? I better not find out you've been spending time with someone else without me. Fucking needy, Alice. We haven't even gone out. You just asked me to help you find an apartment and shit. Jesus. 
Alex, I'm so glad this day is finally almost over. I can't wait to slip into a hot bubble bath. I hope you're having a good night and heady, thirsty as fuck as usual. Alex, I may need your help again. The robotic mining operation has stopped and it took down the transportation system as well. Now I'm trapped down here and I can't find a way out and I can't and I think there are zombies down here. I don't think there's anything you can do now, but I'll let you know when the time is right. Be careful up there and make sure to check in with ZCT RSS feed for any updates. Z C T Feed. The mining has stopped. Cousin, the zombies will spread faster. If you're located anywhere near one of Access's mine sites, get out of there now. Check the... Okay. Well, that is the least helpful information. Okay. Okay. Hacker, we need your skills one last time. Our army has been assembled for a final assault on Zorn zombies. However, we have a slight problem. Initially, our R&D team believed the zombies would be a loose collection of, well, zombies, that aimlessly wandered about. However, through our surveillance, we discovered that they're actually behaving as a controlled collective. You guys are the worst zombie emergency response team ever. You have no contingencies for anything other than a Romero-style shambling zombie. You didn't watch 28 Days Later. You didn't watch any of the... You didn't play Left 4 Dead. You didn't do any of this. This would be considered serious research for you guys. And you drop the goddamn ball. However, through our surveillance, we discovered they're actually behaving as a control collective. We're now assuming Zorn is some kind of zombie controlling device that allows them to communicate orders to them. We could still wipe them out as is, but it would be easier if the zombies were disorganized. All we need you to do is hack into the access central command system and disable their link with the zombies. This may be helpful to you. Zorn has an old family member who used to be in the military's chief communication specialist. I believe he's involved with controlling device. The, with the controlling device. His name is Rex, and he loves classical music. Classical music. So I get to guess classical composers next. Great. Who knows, maybe he's been around for 300 years and listened to that crap as it was being written. For your cousin's sake, throw a wrench into... You know, this whole uh, we are holding your cousin hostage thing? You guys are totally going to pay for this after this is all over with. Like, you weren't... I'm not going to let this one go. You, you, you kidnapped somebody to use as leverage to get me to assist you to do a thing. I would have assisted you if you had merely asked. And now... You're going to have to pay. All right, so... Um, which uh, system... Um, uh, okay, his name is Rex. Beethoven. Mozart. Chopin. Um, Brahms, fuck, fuck, fucking guessing game shit, God. Mail first, no messages, um, View current settings. Oh my god. Version, command address, frequency, wavelength, angular, constant. None of this should matter. I should just turn it down or turn it off. Um, or whatever. Editing ZCD settings. Con uh, O. 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 Nice. Close. Uh, apply. Missing angular constant setting is not applied. Okay. So... 
That's the only thing it really checked for. Missing wavelength now. Okay. So they all, all the, all of the, um, attributes need to be there. I just need to. Change them all, I guess. Invalid version number. Well, shit on a fucking stick. Are you serious? Was there a clue as to what I'm supposed to be entering here, or is this just supposed to be trial and error? This is, that's the access electricity sign. Um, the only, okay. Where's that? There it is. Um, I mean, I could give them the address for the Maybe it's just a format thing. Maybe it's looking for a decimal. Invalid version number. I feel like I'm just, I feel like this is just some kind of dumb guessing game. All right, let's leave the version number as it is. Let's, okay, let's just change, we'll just change one thing at a time. Let's start with that. System malfunction. Unable to restart ZCD. Okay. Disrupted communication. Okay. That was frustrating. From Zorn to Alex, Faith. Did I open attack? I feel like I did. Yeah. Faith. Hello, Alex, if that is your true name. I was just informed you were planted here in my company to spy on us. Spy and infiltrate, apparently, since it looks like you were the one responsible for stopping our dig. We were so close to completing our mission, but no matter, we have faith. And that will spiral us upwards and onwards through any challenge thrown at us. Now, who would have placed you under my employ? Yes, it's possible you're here on your own devices, however, I would tend to doubt it. Does the name Aldo ring a bell? Probably not. Giving up personal information like that was never a practice. If... Of my brother, yes. Aldo became the head of Zero after his beliefs drifted from the rest of the families. In a way, I actually helped him get the job. You should know he's not a man to be underestimated. And you should also know I truly believe you picked the wrong side to be on. Farewell, Alex. Dr. Zorn. Losing. Alex, we need your help. Even disorganized Zorn zombies were too strong for us. God, you guys are the fucking worst. They begin. They uh, quickly begin converting our soldiers into zombies, and now we're severely outnumbered. You must help us defeat them before it's too late. It won't be too easy. It won't be easy, but we have a plan on how you can help. Zorn system at access is using the same networking protocols as uh, ours here at Zero. If you can bridge the systems using a common network interface, you may be able to trick Zorn systems into responding to our, our commands. After you reactivate Zorn zombie to controlling device, we'll figure out how to send some kind of sleep command. Before you get any ideas, we're only giving you restricted access to our systems. From your position, our firewall will allow you to construct the bridge, construct the bridge, but nothing more. We're not fools. Download the attached zero program from this email to your access system. You can use it to reach our systems, launch it. I'm gonna I'm more inclined to leave you to your own fucking devices. Cause not only does it not seem like you're worthy of help, but you're, the way you're asking me, it's all like, don't get any ideas, hot shot. We got seven firewalls. We're behind We're behind seven firewalls and six VPNs and eight layers of irony. There's no way you're going to be able to get to us.
that the address I'm supposed to am I supposed to go back and use that address to give him control over this the thing? Yup. Got it. Sleep. <laughs> Alex, you did it. You transferred control of the zombies to us, and they're all responding to our sleep command. Good work, hacker. You saved us from Zorn's psychotic plan. Anyone with even half a brain knows that trying to tilt the planet to zero degrees is lunacy. The true goal is to increase its tilt to 90 degrees. All true followers from our family know this, and now, with a few slight modifications to my brother's plan, we will finally behold the true revolution. Don't believe his lies. I made up the energy crisis in the first place. How else could we get the world to give us their nukes? Now, little Alex, you've done much and successfully fulfilled your prophecy. And as it has been written in the twirly pages of lore, your time has come to an end. We've just dispatched a few of our new awake friends. An army of zero zombies is closing in on your home to welcome you to your next life. I hope you know it must end this way. And after they finish with you, they'll pay a little visit to Alice, Hetty, and Tony, and of course your cousin. If you still have the ZTC RSS feed, you can even track their progress as they close in on you. Goodbye, Alex. The pleasure was all mine. Although, I can't believe I've been betrayed like this. Ah, oh, I never saw it coming. They seemed so competent and trustworthy the whole time. Oh, I wish I had only had the skills to pierce through their seven layers of VPNs and firewalls and eight layers of irony in order to give them the comeuppance they so richly deserve. Suppose I'll keep track of the RSS feed while they close in on me. That way I'll be the first to know that they've eaten my brains. A new zombie army led by Zero is closing in on a single location for some reason. We're including a tr uh, tracking plug into this feed to help civilians know how soon the zombies will reach this location. If you are within this location and the tracking plug-in begins to beep frequently, get out of there fast as, as fast as you can. Check the Z ZCT RSS feed for more updates. It sounds like I'm going to need my headphones again. And I'm going to turn this on so you can hear it too. Okay. Uh, how am I supposed to download the... Did it automatically download? Did I not need to do anything else with that? Okay, I'm going to assume there's nothing else I need to do with that. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's beeping. Um, I wonder if this is, like, legitimately... What do I do? Is this, like, legitimately a timed event here? Am I... Uh... Ah! I don't know what to do. Um. Ah. How many, how many, is this the end of the game? How many achievements do I have? 59 of 72, so it's not over with just yet. What do I do? Uh, uh. So help this monitor. Ah, oh, shit, it's beeping faster. Uh, okay, there's a new mail message. This is the end for you, hacker. Can you hear my children pounding at your door? Maybe they've already broken in and... What? What's this? They've broken in and they did not find you? How is that possible? You're not at your home, but how are you still online? We shut down all network communications from all areas of the city except... 
except from our facilities. You? Your cousin? No. We kidnapped you and thought it was your cousin? You've been hacking from our old communication shack the whole time. Curse you, Alex. Now we don't have any choice left. We have to get rid of you, and we'll do it any way necessary. And don't even think about messing with our systems. I wouldn't lower myself to using a low password. I've been watching you, hacker, and I know your tricks. One look at you, and I could see you couldn't be trusted. I just can't wait to observe your remains and get blown, get your remains get blown sky high. You'll never hack zero. Aldo zero head. <laughs> Couple things. Uh, God. <laughs> what a twist. <laughs> They're also laying it on really thick uh, here with the clue. Uh, I don't know, like, look, see, watch, observe. Guessing the password is I, or some word like that. Wow. Oh, okay. Um, oh, that's right. I got to connect to the zero. Yep, it's I. Water. Morons. You didn't kidnap Alex's... That's so... What a twist. You didn't kidnap Alex's cousin. You kidnapped Alex. That communication shack may only be filled with terminals from 20 years ago, but it's inside our firewall. You have to take it out now. See if you can divert the contaminated water from the morgue supply tanks to the comm shack. We have to act quickly, and that zombie water can reach the shack quicker than the team can. Let's see how our guest enjoys life as a zombie. We have completed your research. The zombie effect is progressing as we had predicted. I mean, as your family has prophesied. Once a victim is exposed to the zombie element, they begin to experience the effects rather quickly. Okay. The zombie element... Okay. Whoa. Uh-oh. I don't know what that was about. I didn't do that. Um, first there are the tremors. Whoa. Is that game over? Then their vision becomes... Okay, okay, hold on. All of that flashing, I didn't even get to see this, the third part of the email. First there are the tremors, and their vision becomes altered. The infected person's symptoms gradually become worse until the inevitable happens, that is, unless they are given the treatment. I understand it is necessary to infect people in order to achieve our plan. However, I must admit I'm finding it difficult to sit back and observe this take place. I'm a scientist, not a mercenary or religious person. I believe in science, and every atom in my being tells me this is wrong, from B to N, and any, uh, every atom in between. I abhor this plan. Consider this my resignation. I quit. Kara. Okay. Ah. Uh. And I still do zero. Oops. I can. Um. Uh. 
I don't know my periodic table well enough. Every, every, from B to N and every atom in between. So C. So B, C, N. Is it just C? Is it carbon? Carbon. Unless, well, it's doing that thing again. Can't tell if this is like a thing that's supposed to happen and the game is like uh, messing with me or if or if it's not supposed to happen. T cure. Hacker, I'm leaving this note for you and uh, uh, hoping you're as good a hacker as they say you are. I started working in R&D at Zero because I wanted to learn how to cure a zombie outbreak, not be part of one. As far as I'm concerned, if you're against Zero, then we're on the same team. If you've been exposed to the infected zombie water, you'll need to act very, very quickly before the diseased elements bind your microcellular structure. Unfortunately, I never actually completed my research for finding a cure, so I have to finish the remaining work alone. Jesus Christ. I was able to narrow down the list of possible elements that should combine correctly to create a cure. Here they are. Boop. Bip, bop, bam. My research proved only four of these elements need to be combined in the correct sequence to complete the cure. However, you can figure it out. Oh, hopefully you can figure it out on time. Uh, what I always found incredible was that the true name of Zorin's and Aldo's cult was prophesied to have the same initials as the correct sequence. Amazing what some cults will believe in. Shit. I can't remember the true name of the cult. Zambi conspiracy theories dot com Zorn tilt um access cult A X I S okay. Uh, okay. Well, that's not as bizarre as their belief that the name of the person who could defeat their plans also shared these same letters. Programmed the Variable emergency network transport system events to release the cure into Zero's ventilation and water system. All you need to do is tell it what the correct sequence is. I hope you can discover the cure and save yourself. Good luck, hacker. Okay, well, Alex, A L E X. Okay. Um, no messages. Zombie control device. Inaccessible from this location. Okay. Um. Okay. Oh, there's a cure. Pro okay. I, I was confused for a moment. Um, that was a cure file I read. There's a cure program here instead as well. Enter the correct sequence of elements to produce a cure. All right. Same initials as the correct sequence. What is the true name of the cult? No. 
okay. So the true name of Zorn and Aldo's cult was prophesied to have the same initials as the correct sequence. Name of the person who could defeat their plans also shared these same letters. So the letters are A L E X, but that's not the order. So it's A L E X, but it's the order that I need to figure out. And I don't remember the name of the cult. It just says, uh, quote unquote, Axis cult here. Um, Enter sequence. So this is alphabetical order. I wonder if there was a Z, C, T... RSS feed that told me and I forgot to write it down. All right, let's try. What if I do this? Did that do it? Okay. I did that do it? Oh, man. All right, it's it's a cool effect. It's being overused. This is it, and it takes too long every time this happens. Okay. Come on, let's get back to the game. If I did something wrong, tell me. Is this another one of those things where I have to wait for them to contact me? Let's back out. Um, see if I see if the, the the name of the thing is in here somewhere. Um. Uh, and okay. Okay. 
I'm not getting any feedback, but I'm guessing that since I haven't gotten any feedback, that the sequence was not correct, I guess. So, what else could it be? I know, I know the letters are A-L-E-X. I know it's Alex. I just don't know the name of the cult to give me the order. Um... Do I put them in alphabetical order, like the chemicals are? So, A E L X. And I'm not getting any feedback, so I have absolutely no idea. I'm going to assume that that means wrong. Because unless it comes back that says that it worked, I'm going to assume that this is some kind of feedback that is meant to indicate that it was incorrect. Because I don't know what the fuck else it could mean. Um, so it's not alphabetical order, it's not my name specifically, the order, the, okay, axis, so AX, Oh, is it Access Electricity? Because that's not the name of the cult, that's the name of the company. But is it, is it that it? Okay, I didn't get the, I didn't get the, the smackdown with the fucking colors and shit, so. Oh, now I did. I'm going to read this again. All right. <clears throat> there's, there's only four letters. So, um, that's only 16 possible combinations, and I've already tried three of them. I am, well, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of convinced that the, that the first two are going to be AX, because that, that's the only thing really that kind of makes sense. I don't know what the actual name of the cult is, but the fact that it starts with the AX makes sense. I already tried AXEL. I'll try A X L E, and if that doesn't work, then A. What else did I try? I, I tried A L. So if this doesn't work, then I'll try A E X L, and then A E L X, and then if that doesn't work, then I know that A isn't the first letter, so then I can move the letters around. So let's try this. Oh, okay, that was it. Honestly, the <laughs> the lack of feedback between success and failure frustrating. Very frustrating. Girls. Although you have a change of heart, you want to go pick up some girls. I seem to have underestimated you, hacker. You somehow managed to cure yourself of our zombie water. I never should have trusted Kara. I'll have to deactivate her account. Oh, hold on, I'm actually gonna write that down. That was not a fun puzzle. I'll have to deactivate her account before she causes any more problems for me. Nevertheless, you may have cheated death, but I'll have the last laugh yet. As you read this message, know that the lives of your three girlfriends will soon come to an end. 
since there's absolutely nothing you can do to stop it, I'll gladly relay all of the gruesome details and spare you no solace. Alice is trapped within the burning headquarters of Axis Electricity. Hetty is headed directly towards a combined hu zombie human army waiting to ambush her, and Tony is trapped at the bottom of Sector 13 where she, well, maybe I'll keep those details to myself for a little while longer. And me? I'm preparing to ignite a rather spectacular fireworks display. 1,732 hypothermonuclear wet devices have been repositioned at mine locations around the globe. On my command, they will unleash their twisty packages and deliver us an all-glorious 93 tilt off the Earth's axis. Farewell again, Alex. I hope you enjoy the show. Okay. What? Uh... What am I supposed to do about that? And I stop it from here. Nope. Can I stop it from here? These are the only two people I know that have access to the zero network, so... Was this message here before? I don't remember her having a mail message. Ivan's car, I can't be part of this anymore, so I just quit. I don't know if there's... Did I forget to read this before? Maybe this had the information I needed for the chemicals? No. I don't know if there's any good left in you, but I'm praying that there is. I couldn't find a cure for the zombies, and it looks like you regained control of them again, so I'm hoping you'll do the right thing. Look, I don't blame you for hating me after the things I had said, but I know that there is a time when all you could think about was me. And you said my name over and over again with secret affection. Okay, so now we have probably... Ivan's password was Zorn. And Ivan doesn't have a workstation on this network. Change his password? I love Ivan. I love Zorn. Or, I mean, I love Zorn. I love Kara. He can't make up his mind. Hacked Ivan's workstation. I've already done this. I had the password written down. Was that for somebody else? <sighs> no mail messages. <laughs> oh, he has control over the ZCD now. Okay. Email message received from Alex. Now I gotta back all the fucking way out in order to do this. God damn it, Alice. I swear to God. Alex, it's Alice. I'm trying to close it. Alex, I have this stupid PDA with me. Alice, there are... You know what? I tell you. Middle of something important here, okay? CTL control zombies... Attack, get, look, uh, look. Okay. Uh, um, move to the closet. Or control, move, closet. Control, move. Uh, where where are they right now? You see nothing out of the ordinary. 
Control move. Go to hell. Control look. Nothing out of the ordinary. Control get. Control get a beer. Control attack Aldo. Control move zero. How about a list of locations, for God's sake? List of locations. Move to Alice. Uh, sector 13. Destination sent to zombie collective zombies converging on a mine shaft at sector 13. Control move axis. Okay. Control. Oops. Control attack closet. Control get closet. Control move closet. Control get Alice. Ugh. I'm I'm sorry. I really enjoyed the first game. I two seventy three. The developers and the publisher of this game really enjoyed the first one. It was not a hacking simulator game. It's a text-based puzzle game. I really enjoyed it, though. Uh, the story and it, it moved fast. It was it was great. This second effort, I'm not enjoying it, and this is exactly why um, the the. The guessing games, um, where you give me a clue as to a genre of the password, and then I just have to randomly guess until I pick the right one out of this list. The the total gr grasping around in the dark to try and figure out what specific thing. This, this reminds me very much of MUDs uh, in the 90s, where it's like you would get stuck on a part and you would just spend like hours randomly trying combinations of like get straw use straw on door open door with straw so on and so forth it's bad I'm, it's it's not not it's this isn't fun i don't i don't like that you have to give reasonable clues on what you want for input okay I guessed Axis only because I saw that Sector 13 worked. And I only saw that Sector 13 worked totally, totally randomly. And Control Get Alice, I just started throwing out, like, things that I knew existed in the game world. That command doesn't even make any sense. Okay. Now I gotta back all the way out so that I can answer this fucking, not even answer this email, read this email. Some nice but smelly men carried me out of here before the building burned down. There was so much smoke. And here's another thing. We are taking time to save three people which i get for some reason we care about them i mean we totally don't and we totally shouldn't there is a madman that's about to ruin the entire world that's the priority here we should be stopping aldo not taking time to save three women who are in trouble and it's not that i wouldn't save them but we have to prioritize and the entire world almost in every case, <laughs> in every case, 
trumps three lives, especially three lives of people who I've never actually met in person. She told me she was going home to our apartment complex. Oh, right. She lives there, too. And now I have to go all the way back out and back in again to the place where I just was because I had to go back to read an email. That fucking sucks, too. By the way. All right, where are we? Zombies observe soldiers waiting in ambush. It's so control attack soldiers. Oh, I misspelled it. Uh, if you had him soldiers successfully saved Hetty. Now I have to go back and check an email there. Is that what I gotta do? I love going back and forth checking emails. Roll move sector 13. Yup. Gotta go all the way back. Alex, this is Teddy. I just read home and it looks like a war zone outside of my apartment. I think some bad people are after me, but I'm safe now. I sensed in my loins you were responsible for keeping me safe to express my gratitudes all over you. Oh, have you heard from that dirty little tramp, Tony? I heard she may be in trouble too. I hope you're having a good dusk. <laughs> Um, this is ACD. Did I already move them to sector 13? Okay. Control, look. Okay. Get Tony. Okay. Why, why couldn't they get Tony when I said get Tony? When I tell them to get the device, they get Tony. What the fuck? This is getting worse and worse as we get closer to the end. Like, to the point where, like, if we weren't so close to the end, I would be done right now. Do you think you're a hero hacker? Well, while you were busy saving your girlfriends, Zorn and I reconciled and joined forces to complete our plan. We couldn't exactly agree on which way to tilt the Earth, but we decided to meet in the middle and shoot for a clean 45-degree tilt. What the hell, right? <laughs> Angry. We just finished arming the nukes from his workstation, and they're set to go off any moment now. Pity you won't be able to do a thing about it. They're all hardwired to blow, and the only and only the world military leaders know the access codes to disarm them. Ha! Good luck digging them all up in time. So long, hacker, Aldo and Zorn. From his workstation. Okay, I'm not seeing... We just do you, Zorn and I reconcile. We oh, this is coming from Aldo, so his workstation refers to Zorn. Nuclear access program. Shit. Deactivation code Pluto. 
Urgent mail received on localhost system. Hey. Sorry it took me so long to get back to you on this. It turns out the initial hack you performed a few days ago into the United Nationalities website that first got Zero's attention was worth the trouble. It took me longer to decipher our, the data than I had expected, but it turns out that all of the military leaders use the same nuke deactivation code. Wouldn't be surprised. Judging by the code, apparently everyone does want a chance for the same thing after all. Good luck. Everyone does want a chance for the same thing after all. Everyone does want a chance for the same thing after all. Um, everybody does want a chance for the same thing after all. And all that we're saying is give peace a chance. That was it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> die. <clears throat> Why won't you just die, hacker? You are the counter-revolution prophesied in our book of revolutions. My brother and I can't believe we didn't see this coming. At least we could take comfort knowing... Well, I mean, the prophecy said somebody named Alex would foil you. You hired a guy named Alex. And then you found out about me, and then you decided to give me more access until eventually you found out I was working against you, and then you didn't really do much to try and deter me except kidnap some women who I don't really know. So I did apparently choose to save them first anyway. Uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. At least we can take comfort knowing about all the lives we destroyed by converting those innocent access and zero personnel into zombies. Know this, Alex. We will not rest until your hacking days are over. We have successfully made our escape. Mark our words. We will meet again someday. Aldo and Zorn. Okay. Do I have any more? No. What do I? That seems like the end. That seems like the end. Oh, voicemail message. Say a uh, voicemail. Oh, I already have the audio on. Hey there, Alex. It's Tony. Thanks so much for sending your posse to rescue me. Being strapped to that nuke wasn't exactly my idea of a good time. But I've got a favor to ask of you. All those zombies need to be cured, and I think you can help. Right now, that nuke you released me from is resting at the bottom of the Sector 13 shaft and is ready to pop. If we could plug the hole with the cure, then set off the nuke, it should spew the cure into the atmosphere like a shotgun blast. It wouldn't take long to settle back down onto all of those infected and cure them right up. If you're willing, I'm able. Just send me the cure ingredients and I'll have my new dead friends pack the hole. Then we'll detonate the nuke. It's all up to you now, babe. Oh, okay. I actually missed the beginning of that because my headphones weren't on, so let me to play that again. Hey there, Alex. It's Tony. Thanks so much for sending your posse to rescue me. Being strapped to that nuke wasn't exactly my idea of a good time. But I've got a favor to ask of you. All those zombies need to be cured, and I think you can help. Right now, that nuke you released me from is resting at the bottom of the Sector 13 shaft and is ready to pop. If we could plug the hole with the cure, then set off the nuke, it should spew the cure into the atmosphere like a shotgun blast. It wouldn't take long to settle back down onto all of those infected and cure them right up. If you're willing, I'm able. Just send me the cure ingredients and I'll have my new dead friends pack the hole. Then we'll detonate the nuke. It's all up to you now, babe. Tony, are you out of your fucking mind? That's your idea? That's the best idea you can come up with? Is to use a nuclear weapon and detonate it deep within the earth so that we can 
distribute a chemical cocktail over a wide area to cure zombies. That's the best you can do. We have the cure. I mean, even if it took a couple of days, administering it one by one is way better than choosing to detonate a nuke and blast <laughs> radioactive fallout and chemicals. Are you kidding me? Is there another message? Is there somebody else with a, another idea? No. Okay. I, I, okay, game. Bad fucking idea. Great, we'll have the shaft packed in no time. Go ahead and start the arming sequence for the nuke. You can use MAME to detonate it. You'll need the nuke's global hypothermia, which is kiss my ass. God, I gotcha. Gotcha! Um, was I able to access MAME from here? No, I have to access it from, uh... Um, Tony's workstation. Tony. Oh. That's word. Um, then it was mine. Tony. Gold. Name. Mame. Oh, I see it's you again. Welcome back to my den. I've been writing poems all day since you took my job away. I kind of miss it, digging in such, coming up with rhymes and such a hard work sometimes. Okay. Okay. Cured all the zombies with a nuke. Just feel them all. Zombie invasion is over. Through some amazing feats, we're learning that the heads of excess electricity in Zero have now been exposed to strangers. All the people and authorities are looking for them now. Sources tell us that the heads of excess electricity in Zero, Dr. Zorn and Aldo, have escaped and are at large. All remaining effective zombies have been cured. Apparently, the diabolical plan was to alter the Earth's axis by using hundreds of hyper thermonuclear devices positioned in key locations around the world. The devices were mysteriously disarmed and have been deactivated now. Three access electricity women reveal their horrifying stories later tonight. I was stuck in that closet for almost 15 minutes. Thank you for subscribing to our feed and remember blah blah blah. Final goal achieved. You saved the world. Access and zero are no more. The nukes were disarmed. The zombies are cured. Your girlfriends are safe. Congratulations. You also received three emails on your local system. Uh, run. Hi, honey. Thank you so much for saving my life. And to think I really thought I owed you big for finding me and Fluffy an apartment. So your dog's name is Fluffy? That explains why it was the password. Would have been really fucking nice for you to message that, mention that a little bit earlier, though, so I didn't have to guess it. Pull it completely out of my ass. I really want to see you tonight, but I have to find a new job. I just got interviewed in a nature company. I think it's called Run or something. Oh, okay, so this is a prequel. Uh, I can tell you after all the craziness. So that means that Elise was also hired at the uh, other place as well, because that name is familiar. Um, is there a Bob? No. Okay. Um, I'm really looking forward to working someplace safe and normal for a change. Okay. Thanks. Hope you don't mind me contacting you directly like this. It's just that we don't get a chance to meet any celebrities, and I wanted to personally congratulate and thank you for saving the world. If you're ever free for an interview... I'd really like to hear everything you care to share. Oh, I created a special page for you on our website. Just search for Zombie Hacker to see it. Well, thanks again, and I hope to hear from you soon. Marie, Chief Editor. Zombie Hacker. We'll come back to this in a sec. First, let's check out the last email. Time. 
I'm following up on our previous conversation regarding the employee of your services. I understand you just completed an assignment, well done by the way, and that you have recently been offered another position you plan to accept. I understand your time is precious, however, I would appreciate assistance as soon as you are available again. You see, we have been experiencing a series of unfortunate events at a research facility and I could use your help. I will monitor your progress and contact you again when you are available. Sincerely, Professor Janice Filborn, National Institute for Temporal Event Distortion Research. Okay. Um, let's see what the website says. <clears throat> Congratulations, Alex. You saved the world. Everyone here at ZTC wanted to, ZCT wanted to thank you for everything you've done for us all. Zorn and Aldo have vanished, but so as traces of the cult of Axel. So that is the name of the cult. Also would have been really good to know when I was doing that puzzle. Good riddance. We know you must be tired after all that hacking, but we would love that interview when you're free. Update. While we haven't been able to pencil Alex in for that interview yet, we have been able, we were able to chat with his ex-boss, Wally. Oh, Wally's back in town. Here are the details of that interview. ZCT, hello, this is Marie from zombieconspiracytheories.com. Is this Wally? Wally. Ah, second call. Hello, hello. Hi, this is Marie. Is this Wally? Yes, this is Wally. Are you with the Pie Company? Um, no, this is Marie from zombieconspiracytheories.com. We'd like to... Ah, third call. Hello, hello. Hi, Wally. It's Marie again. Oh, yes. Marie from the Pie Company, right? No, it's Marie from ZCT. Are you free for a few questions? Well, sure, I guess so. What's this about? We wanted to talk to you about Alex. Ah, yes. Alex, splendid young fellow, very talented with the computer stuff and whatnot. Yes, we agree. Have you been in contact with Alex since the zombie invasion? Ah, okay. That's... This is not... The Z word. We don't say the Z word. We're not saying the Z word. Okay, this this would be better received if I had uh, been more entertained by the game, but as it is, I'm fairly frustrated. I feel like we slogged through it and got real lucky a couple of times and had to rack our brains to just randomly pick the right thing. Um, not bad. Not, this isn't as good as the first one, uh, for sure. The puzzles aren't... The, the puzzles are... With puzzle games, there's a really fine line, right? It, the, and uh, To the credit of I-273 here, the, the developer and publisher, to their credit, uh, puzzle games like this are really hard to write. Um, and the reason for that is because when you are writing a puzzle, you know the answer. And it is super easy to take a wrong turn and make a puzzle either too easy by making the answer too obvious, which the first game in the series aired more on that side, where like it gave me enough information that I basically knew what the answer was right away. Or you take the other way and you make it too hard so that the person who's working on the puzzle doesn't have enough information to actually solve it. Now, the first game, as I said, aired on the side of being a little bit too easy. This one aired on the side of being too difficult, but it was too difficult for all the wrong reasons. See, when you have all of the information for how a puzzle is solved, it's very difficult to seed out those breadcrumbs to give the person figuring it out an opportunity to work it out. And it requires a very careful hand to do so. Now, this game, in order to ramp up the difficulty, it went the direction of giving us a tiny amount of information that got us um, an idea of the answer, but with only one recourse for actually figuring out the answer, which was brute forcing. And that is not fun. Nobody likes to sit there and manually brute force. So, for example, whereas the first game might have given us a clue that would say something like, Brian's favorite symphony is um, Fur Elise, or no, symphony, you know what I mean. Favorite classical song is Fur Elise. And then the password would be Beethoven. Makes perfect sense. Fur Elise is written by Beethoven. A leads to B. In this case, we got more of a clue like this person likes classical music and so then we had to randomly try classical composers until we found the right one 
And we got them all pretty quick. It didn't take us too long to do it. Still a pain in the ass to do, and it's still not a very fun type of thing. Now, in terms of the story, I didn't like the way the last one ended, but I was hooked the entire time. I did want to see how things were panning out. This one, uh, no, I, I saw the twists and turns coming. Uh, a lot of the choices were completely nonsensical. I didn't like them. Um, the, the With the first game, it was right up until the very end is when it got me. Like, when I when it lost me, I should say. This one lost me about a quarter of the way through or so. I stuck it out. I did not want to finish by the end, but I was so close to finishing, I felt like maybe I should. Uh, let me also see here. I'm missing an achievement. What achievement am I missing? Hidden achievements. Uh, hack run zero achievements. What am I missing? What did I not do? There's a secret level. That's... What's the secret level? Hack run zero secret level. So this is what I'm looking at. There's a secret level here. How do we get to it? What do we do? You have to download something. This is really sketchy as fuck. <laughs> the icon is backwards. Is that what we have to do? We have to spell it backwards. Um, zero hack. hack. Um, that's hack run zero backwards. Do we need? I don't know. Honestly, I want to get the last achievement because there's only one achievement left to do, but oh, my patience is really wearing thin here. Is it just hack run? Is it just Nurka. Oh, fuck. Again with the randomly goddamn guessing shit.
downloading package manager. This better be good. Package downloaded, unsqueezing package. Package and squeeze running package. Packaging it with current operating system. Warning, non-compatible program detected override install. Sure, why the fuck not? Status normal, local host. Okay, so now I have a new program. No. Okay. What program was it? It doesn't it doesn't say. Is it under access? No. Is it under Z did ZCT get overwritten? I'm tired of this. There's still one more game in this series, and I'm going to give it a shot um, because I'm really hoping that it improves on the first one. Definitely hoping that it improves on the second one. But... Oh, is this supposed to, is this override install, is this not supposed to be like, is this, is this just, so when I saw override install, I thought that was like, do you want to proceed with overwriting the current application, but is override install supposed to be like an abort where you're overriding the installation, you're stopping the installation? Is that what it is? Hold on, let's go back and try that. That might be it. Uh, let's try no overriding. Non-compatible software not overridden. Non-compatible software in coupling with the original operating system. Hostile subroutine successfully replaced original operating system. Okay. okay. Booting up terminal with new operating system. Boot up the late bus. Actually, upper left corner to return to the main game. Play a game with the OS. Return to the original, return to the local host system. Remove hostile operating system. Play a game. Huh? Tic-tac-toe? Uh, Tic-tac-toe. And it's really bad at tic-tac-toe. I won. Ray. Dude, I need to do it again. It's still really bad at tic-tac-toe. Are you sure you want to uninstall? Yeah, it seems like it doesn't do very much. Who is Overnight Dynamite's biggest fan? Overnight Dynamite is, um... It's from the last game. From the Hack Run 1. That was the, uh... The password for Kathy, love. Is it Kathy? Is this is this trivia from the previous game? Hey, all right. Uh David. David who wants to be just like Brian. Uh Elise is the head of HR. Uh <laughs> Anki wasn't wearing any underwear. Uh where is Kate going? Uh meeting Julian Russo in Roma. 
Uh, Larry's password was sex. Uh, this one I remember. V, because it was RGB and I thought it was weird. Uh, Wanda. Uh, who is the prison? Uh, Xander was the human who went to the alien side. Uh, last level. Um, yes. Uh, the zombie invasion is over through some amazing feats. We're learning that the heads of, uh, they've been exposed. Okay. Well, we already read this one. Okay. We already read this. Is there anything else? Then that's it. We, uh, we did it. Um, okay. That's, that's, um, hack run zero. Uh, we got through it. We certainly did. Um, barely. But we got all 72 achievements, and um, I feel relieved to be done with it. Um, it was it had its moments, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but there is a third game, which is Hack Time, which is uh, two years newer than the other one. With the second one, I'm getting the sense, because they were released like a month apart, Hack Run and Hack Run Zero. Um, so my guess is that the second one might have been a little bit rushed or might have um, consisted of material that was on the cutting room floor when they were developing Hack Run 1. Hack Run, or Hack Time, the third one, the sequel to Zero here, uh, is two years later, almost to the day. I think this one was July 13th. Hack Time was July 18th. Um, so I'm hoping that with the additional time and development, we're going to see something um, much better with the third installation. So I am going to be back for that one. But that is the end of Hack Run Zero for now, and we will see you when we get there.